Concerned with the alarming reported cases of human trafficking across the country, the Franciscan Missionaries of the Divine Motherhood, FMDM Sisters, founded by Arise Foundation, a faith-based non-governmental organization, has organized a three-day awareness training workshop for some communities in just south, just north, and Basa local government areas of Plateau State. City Miss just corresponded while Bioga reports that the event which took place at the Pastoral Center Jazz drew participants from across different com communities and religious groups across the Archdiocese of Jazz. <laughs> The workshop coordinator, Reverend Sister Miss Athen Yakubu of the Franciscan Missionaries of the Divine Mother, FMDM, said the activities of the human traffickers in the society today is alarming. Therefore, there is the need to train people to help in tackling the menace. We are here for a three days workshop which started from the 7th to the 9th of February 2024. We had a workshop planned as part of our project, which was funded by Arise Foundation in collaboration with the FMDM Sisters. And we came to know about Arise through the Nigerian Conference of Women Religion. We are an anti trafficking network, and when the seed grant was opened, FMDM wrote and was granted the opportunity and we've been here with participants from Just North, Just South and Pasa local government. I'm very happy, even the facilitators some mentioned to say they are happy with the participation of the participants and I think this is as a result of the advocacy visits that we had with the community leaders who were able to give us people that are able to participate fully, that have the willingness to cooperate with us. And I'm hopeful that as we finish this training, they will be able to step down to their various communities you can see through the passion that they have shown. During the three days training workshop, resource person took on to deliver lectures on different aspects of human trafficking, how to identify the victims, and the perpetrators. Listen, is, sadly, a lot of people don't know human trafficking exists. And because they don't know that it exists and the different forms they occur, the community leaders, religious leaders, the youth are practically being taken on unawares by traffickers. And as a result, my greatest uh, ambition right now is to see to that each and everybody is aware of human trafficking, the way they occur, the red flags to watch out for, and, and the... And I cannot do anything about it. My sister may be one of them one day. My child may be one of them one day. My cousin, my nephew, my niece, and so on. So we have a responsibility to see how do we he help us in identity. Some of the participants spoke on the importance of the three days training workshop to CTV News. Before now, I only heard about human trafficking in the media, not knowing what it actually meant. But coming here, I now realize that it could even be happening in my house. They have not trained us how to identify the victims and the perpetrators in our communities. Because the society needs problems like this. Myself, I wasn't even aware. I've heard the term human trafficking, but I never knew what it means. Right now, I know, and I'm just waiting to go back home so that we will create awareness at home so that people will be aware of. Well, first and foremost, I am very grateful to God for this opportunity I have gotten to come and learn more about human trafficking. I say learn more in the sense that I've heard about human trafficking, but I never really knew what human trafficking entails. But with this program, 
I have come to understand that human trafficking has many aspects. Highlight of the training workshop we are peering of the participants into groups for discussions and presentations of certificates. Walibi Ogak reports from JAWS.